When you take one of these little carburetors off of your machine, don't waste your time rebuilding the entire thing until you test your accelerator pump first. Today I am going to show you how easy that is to do. I am definitely going to save somebody out there today some frustration and some time. Watch this. <laughs> Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let's just jump right into this. First of all, when you take one of these carburetors off of your machine, you have to identify, first of all, if it even has an accelerator pump on it. Here's what we're looking for. We are looking for uh, this little hole right here on your throttle shaft side. That's your throttle shaft right there. We're not looking at these two holes. Those are your mounting holes for your mounting studs. We're looking at for this hole right here that is right in line with your throttle shaft itself. So if you see that hole like that, you have an accelerator pump that's buried underneath of that throttle shaft. Now I'm going to take the throttle shaft out of one to show you that accelerator pump inside. You do not need to do this for testing like I'm going to show you in a second. I'm just doing this for clarity purposes. So we pull that throttle shaft out and now there's the hole. I can see it iron now. Now watch what comes out of that hole. It's a little pump, a little plunger kind of thing followed by a spring. You'll see that there's a little o-ring around that plunger that is the critical part right there that o-ring gets worn out and it can start leaking all right let's get right into it this is how you test it here's a here's let's go with the good one first this is actually a good one all you have to do is take a few drops of fuel and you fill that hole up with fuel right to the top like that and then you immediately start pumping the purge bulb. See what's happening with the fluid level in that hole? It's staying full. It's not getting sucked down into the accelerator pump past the O-ring. That carburetor right there, that's what you want to see. Now, here's one right here that has a bad accelerator pump. I'm kind of lucky I found one of these. Check this out. Put a couple drops of fuel in there start pumping and look at that look what that's doing you see some bubbles coming out and after a few pumps that just drained all of the fuel right out of that hole all that fuel just got pat just got sucked right past that little o-ring on the on the plunger sometimes you'll actually see bubbles coming out there like i just showed you sometimes there's no bubbles it just simply just drains all the fuel right past that uh, o-ring on the accelerator pump either case it's a bad accelerator pump if that happens to you there is no way that is worth repairing now take that carburetor throw it over your right shoulder buy a new carburetor and install a new carburetor i have some links right underneath of this video in the comment section the pinned comment section and in the uh, description where you can go back and see exactly how inexpensive uh, these carburetors are to replace. Simple, easy little test. I hope that helps somebody out there. If you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, that'd be awesome. If you want to give me a thumbs up button, that'd be awesome too. Share this with your friends. You want to watch another video that's really cool? I think you'll like it too. Click on that one right there next. I think you're going to like it. Till the next time, cheers. Steve out. Yeah. <laughs>